Hey, didn't see you there. I'm just here, sitting in the Rutherford High School library, reading a book, enjoying the ambiance, just overall having a blast. It's a great place just to come and relax. And... Shh. Sorry. Thank you. Welcome to the Rutherford High School library. Mrs. Davis. The library is a real welcoming place. Um, students come in here for a variety of things. Early in the morning, we open up at 7.30. They'll come in to get their homework done, to meet with the National Honor Society for tutoring, or just to sit maybe in the reference corner and finish up some last minute homework or research paper. Available to help you with that work is the National Honor Society member someone like Shannon Clare. Yeah, so we have morning and afternoon tutoring so that it gives students who are struggling in any class or like particular subject matter to come in and seek those who have already gone through the classes and gotten high grades in them. And what happens is any student from any grade level can just come in and they'll be t talking with somebody who can put it into like a perspective that's easier than having a teacher just reteach things because it gives them new opportunities to see things in different ways. Meet Mrs. DiCarlo. We have um, several different sections of the library. When uh, students come, um, they can actually sit by the fireplace. We have a seating area where students can sit and read any number of our magazines that we have. So we have quite a few magazines. Um, we have 22 computers for the students to use, which is great. We also have 30 Chromebooks. So at any given time, you might find two classes that are able to come in and do research projects. Uh, last year, we had over 200 classes that came through the library to do research projects. Um, in fact, uh, some of these students' uh, projects are on display from the projects that they've been working on. We have a um, seating area in the back where students can sit if they want a nice, quiet you know, place to sit. Our fiction section has been thoroughly redesigned. What we did was we now have books similar to Barnes & Noble's. We had many students that came to the library and asked, where's your fantasy section, where's your science fiction section? So we decided if that's what students want, that's what we would give them. So we spent a whole year recataloging every book, and we now have many genres of books. Some of the genres that we have, we have adventure, we have uh, biographical fiction, we have historical fiction, we have mystery, suspense, science fiction, we have uh, romance. One of the um, <laughs> very ambitious projects that we do in the library, um, we are now, um, we cataloged all of the required reading for the English curriculum. Meet English teacher Mrs. Garcia. What you really want is to be able to have kids focus in on something and Mrs. DiCarlo helps us do that with the databases like that so it's really beneficial. Um, teachers used to give the kids um, whatever book they would be reading for the, the amount of time but now kids um, are required to go to the library and get it themselves and that way the book is assigned to them in particular and that uh, eliminates all the things that happen when people share loggers, when people leave a book behind. Um, this is an easier way to track them and I think overall it's giving the kids a sense of responsibility it's allowing for more class time because teachers don't have to take the time to give them out, collect them, check the numbers. And um, in addition to that, I think overall it's going to save the district money. We have a very extensive collection of databases. It rivals any you know college uh, you know uh, library. We have um, every topic you can imagine. We have um, well some of our more popular databases. We have our daily life through history. We have a uh, war uh, database with every possible conflict war you can imagine. I think the library is a really big part of the high school. Uh, before I worked here, just coming in here, I thought it was really a lovely atmosphere. I think it's conducive to working. 
but now that I work here, I've seen it's also a social place. As you can see, the library is a place for love, laughter, and most of all, learning. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Rutherford High School Library.